first into the den is Sean McGarry, who's supremely confident his simple household contraption will delight the dragons. This product, it speaks for itself. You see it, you understand it, you know you want it. The 25-year-old has the youngest ever dragon firmly in his sights. I like Sarah because she has great experience with selling on teleshopping channels. I think with a product like ours that's so demonstrable, with her experience, we could sell hundreds of thousands of units. Hi Dragons, my name is Sean McGarry and I'm the founder of the Shower Gem, the rust-proof shower organiser that gives you a neat and tidy place to store all of your shower essentials and that needs no suction cups and no drill to be installed. I'm asking for £100,000 for 10% of like my business. Between myself and my sisters, I was really fed up walking into my shower every morning and kicking that shampoo bottle, soap and worst of all razor that was lying on my shower floor. My dad, who's a plastic fabricator by trade, but a crazy inventor really, was really fed up with the situation. And so he invented the shower gem. And what people love most is how easy it is to install. Just take the tube of glue supplied that's meant to stick to all types of wall tiles, apply it to your wall bracket, press your bracket firmly against your wall, leave it set for 24 hours, and then just clip the shower gem onto your wall bracket. And you don't have to worry about drilling your brand new wall tiles. Dragons, the shower gem is doing really well on a national level, but with your expertise, we can grow it so that shower gem becomes an international brand name. I'd love to answer any questions that you have, but first I'm going to hand out a few samples. A rust-proof, screw-free shower right. organiser is the product Sean McGarry is hoping to clean up with in the den. Right, Deborah. Thank you. He's offering to hand over 10% of his business in return for a £100,000 investment. Sarah, nice to meet you. Thank you, nice to meet you too. Deborah Meaden is first to grill the mayo-based entrepreneur. Thank you, Sean. So, um, you talk about doing really well nationally. Yeah. What does doing really well mean in numbers? Uh, well, in the last four months, we've sold 5,000 units, so uh, £140,000. And the net profit was £25,000. Where have you sold those? So, all online through our website. We don't go near retail. Uh, we don't go near Amazon at the moment, and so just our own website. OK. And you've been going, how long did you say? Uh, about three years materials testing prototype development. So that sounds like a really, really long time for such a simple product. Why did it take three years in prototype? At the glue. So we had to go through about 20 to 30 different glues before we got the one that sticks to basically every wall tile. The glue, where's it being made? I don't give out the information where it's been just made. Just the country? I, I, to be honest, I don't even give out the country. It's just, it took so long to find and there's only a few manufacturers off it. I, I don't give out anything about the glue. Is it Europe or is it Far East? Respectfully, I'm, I'm not going to answer. I'm sorry. It's so important to the product. I just can't give out any information about it. Sean sticking to his guns by refusing to reveal the source of his all-important glue. Now, Tuka Suleiman wants to probe the price tag the entrepreneur has placed on his clutter-clearing company. Sean, I like the product. I think it solves a problem. This is what life's about, solving problems. But you've come in here with a valuation of a million pounds. Yeah. As to date, you've made 25,000. Yeah. How did you come to the valuation? I think it's just so scalable, not very cash flow demanding because our sales are through it online. In the next two months, I'll be launching the, the US and Canada. So I think the targets are fairly achievable. What's the IP on it? We have registered design rights for the tree shelf design mm -hmm. and design patent applied for the other designs also. But I'm assuming that if it's that successful, any good designer could get around the patents. If they're copying us, we're probably doing a pretty good job. You're not going to copy a product that's not selling. The entrepreneur confidently bats away to Suleiman's fears about whether the product is copyable. Peter Jones now wants to know if Sean has any further inventions up his sleeve. What 
makes this a business as opposed to just a one-hit wonder product. What happens when Shower Gem becomes a gem? It's to, it's to develop more products, like a range of home organisational products. It could be a toilet roll holder, it could be a coat hanger, it could be a spice rack with our shelf design. It just no tools required. So, are we making an investment today in just the shower product? Yeah. Or are we making an investment in the company that is going to develop unique products for around the home which don't require tools? At £1 million valuation, I valued it in the shower gem and other similar storage products for our bathrooms. But it wouldn't extend to the whole house. If you wanted that to be included in the deal, we'd have to just have a look at valuation. Are you trying to freewheel it as you go? That sounds like somebody that's just chancing their luck right now. No, but I'm not willing to give away my, my whole range of future products. You seem to be trying to keep the door ajar for negotiation purposes because that goes into the lounge is another product that you're spending your time on, but that's not included in this. Have I got that wrong, or are you...? No, you're 100% right in that. I think that's really disingenuous, and I'm quite disappointed. And just because I believe that you're trying to extract value that you haven't really got, I'm going to say that I'm out. The revelation that not all of Sean's future inventions are guaranteed to be part of the deal is enough to make a peeved Peter Jones head for an early bath. And it appears Tej Lalvani is also unwilling to accept Sean's tight terms. What we're creating here is a business, and I would expect that any products in that environment of household would be linked with this, so this could be built into a big, massive consumer business. Because no one just wants to invest in a one type of product. You want to build a brand that can cater to the whole household. Well, on, on that basis, if you want, I am open to doing it for products like this, storage products, organisation products, for the entire home. OK, well, because of that, I'm going to make you an offer. But I think in this case, two dragons might be better than one. So I'm willing to share this. £50,000 for 15% or £100,000 for 30%. OK. Tej Lalvani tables a bid as the bathroom entrepreneur makes a U-turn and is now prepared to include new products in the deal. Peter, I don't know if, if opening up to the home, does that...? Peter's out. Peter's out, OK. Deborah Meaden now wants her say on the shower storage solution. I don't love the product. OK. I don't think it's better than anything that is out there. I love my investments, you know. Yeah, I stand yeah. there oh, and I enough. think, look yeah. at this, it's amazing, you've yeah. got to have them, you know. But I don't honestly think that I'm going to take over the world with that shower tray. So I won't be investing, I'm out. I, I like the product. I like you. I've got a great team of people who will create product. So if I invested in you and we came up with ideas, you would be up for that? 100%, yeah, if, we, if you're willing to help us with that, yeah, definitely. I, I think I, I can add value to you. And I would share with Tej. We know what can be done. So I would give you half the money for 15% to match Tej's half. How much, I suppose, do you really want to throw yourself into the business? How aggressive do you want to be in us growing? Do you know something? I want to win. Okay. And I'm hands-on. OK. Have I answered your question? Yeah, perfect, thanks. Thanks Good. very much. Tuka Suleiman thinks the shower product is worth a shot and offers to pair up with Tej Lalvani. Sarah Davies was in the entrepreneur's sights when he entered the den Will she be in his boardroom when he leaves? Sean, my first product. Yeah. Very similar story to you. 
I came up with the problem. In my case, it was how people make handmade cards, how do they make matching envelopes. My dad's an engineer. Yeah. He invented the product. He was the, what did you call your dad? I wrote it down. This is crazy. The crazy inventor man. Inventor. I'm going to go home and call my dad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then I built a whole company off the back of one great idea. Yeah. And that's why I would love to make you an offer. But having me on board, we're going to parachute this, make it happen faster and bigger than what it would have been. And that comes at a price. So I offer you all of the money for 30%. I'd be willing to share with a fellow dragon, but I feel like I've got what you need. So the decision yours. But don't insult me and come back and ask me if I'll knock back down to 10% because you'll lose me. Okay. I'm going to go through all. Uh, while I'm the one, you might think about percentages as well, just to try and meet somewhere. Sean now has three offers to consider. Tej Lalvani and Sara Davies are both prepared to hand over the full £100,000, but are also willing to share a deal. He's great. He's He's Whilst Tuka Suleiman is only in if the agreement is split between investors. But all of the deals would mean Sean handing over 30% of his company. OK, so... For me to run the company and for it to give you 30%, that's very, very high, especially if I'm the one doing the 9 to 12 or whatever it is, 15 <laughs> hours, Monday to Sunday. I'm not going to be ringing you up every day. So I just think, can you come down quite a bit? How about this? I would be willing to give you a third of the money, 33,000, for 8% of the business, which would mean if my fellow dragons wanted to go three ways, you'd be looking you at a super boost. 24%. But with three of us, we are talking full on turbocharged. I would agree to the 8%, because you've reduced my exposure. I think the three of us could work together. I'd be willing to agree to that. I would do 24% for the full amount of the money, but it's to come down once the money is paid off in full to 12.5%. So you, you want us to build the business and then get our money get back. back to you? I mean, what's the incentive? No negotiation for me. It's worth more than that. OK. Well, uh, yeah, I'd be delighted to take the offer. Great. Off yes, Dragon, great. So great. Thanks very much. Excellent. I don't know who's hand to shake first. Yeah. Thanks, Good, good, good. good. Yeah. I'm more Sorry. of a hugger. Thanks, Congratulations. Thank you. Brilliant. Congratulations, Thank Sarah. you. There's a lot we can do with this. OK, yeah. Good. The entrepreneur heads back across the Irish Sea with £100,000 and a trio of delighted dragons on board. Well, my head's all over the place at the moment, just trying to figure out what went on, but really happy to get a deal with three dragons. I loved him. He's a smart negotiator. It's a cash-generating business, in my view. My dad, he's going to be last word, but he'll be delighted. I think the most interesting thing will be how you three are going to end up working together. It'll be awesome. Yeah. Well, watch this space. Oh, watch this space indeed.